Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about what do guys think about girls with big lips. Mwah. Let me start by first saying when most guys see a girl with big lips they instantly assume that they are really really good at oral sex otherwise known as Blowjobs. Not to go into too much detail, but as a guy who's been with girls with big, medium and small lips, personally I can't tell the difference at all. The mainstream media would have all females believe that you need big lips and nothing could be further from the truth. The way it seems on social media is that if you don't have big lips then you're gonna have a failed marriage you're not going to have kids, you're not going to find a boyfriend, not in that order, but you get the idea. And you're just generally going to be unhappy. I speak from experience and my mum had her lips done and my ex-girlfriend also had her lips done and it didn't make them any happier. I think having your lips done seems like that secret pill or secret sauce that's gonna do miracles for you when in fact it's just an alteration it's like getting your hair cut sometimes a haircut can suit a certain person and you can think yeah actually I can see it's really improved your face and it makes everything more aesthetic but at the same time people also get really bad haircuts and that can make them look worse than they did before. You just got to accept that sometimes when certain girls get their lips done it really does suit them and other times when other girls get their lips done it looks horrible. It looks like surgery gone wrong or like that program on TV botched and you just think why? Why have you done that to yourself? I think the good thing is with with lips is that you can just test it first because both my mum and my ex-girlfriend they got what were called lip fillers so they only had I'm just talking technicality here but I think what they said they had was half a mil of filler or whatever it is in each lip and then what they would do is they would massage it uh, obviously when you first get it done your lips go your lips go massive absolutely crazy because I remember seeing my mum when she had hers done I remember seeing my ex on the same day that she had hers done and the lips go they look you think to yourself what the hell have you done this is like tragic this is crazy you look like a puffer fish or whatever those fish are that have the huge lips but you get the idea and yeah but they do go down and you they, you have to massage it out I believe the the process is very painful as well because you have to have an injection into uh, your lips which I think done by the wrong person can be quite painful so anyway yes for certain people getting your lips done will improve Im and, and I use the word improve because I believe that just going out with someone just for the size of the lips is ridiculous and it's not something you should aspire to. If you see someone with big lips and you are just, I mean this is more for the guys, but guys, if you see a girl with big lips and you think, yeah, she probably gives great oral sex. She probably doesn't. She might not even like oral sex. She's probably doing it just to make herself feel better. But for you girls that want to get the procedure done, don't do it just to get a boyfriend or husband or your next ex-husband, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> because it should be for you. It should be, it should be something, I mean, I would always advise, go to speak to a counsellor first. See if it's something that is just because you go on social media a lot and we all compare ourselves to people on social media, it's natural, it's what we do as humans. Everyone seems to compare themselves against each other, but that can also have this negative effect of people getting the lips done or having surgery where they don't need to, they really don't. And 
it's quite scary the amount of young girls that are getting their lips done. I'm not saying that it's dangerous or it's a bad thing. I think there's definitely a place for getting your lips done. If, you, if you're getting your lips done and you're doing it just because it's going to make you feel better about yourself, it's going to give you confidence and self-esteem, by all means, go for it. Do it. Because I feel that if something can affect your mental state in that way, to the point where you're waking up every day happy to look in the mirror, happy and confident in yourself, then it's totally worth it. But if you're going to do it just because some guy at the gym will look at you and perhaps ask for your number or slide you a DM, then no, don't do it for that reason. Because that, that type of guy is probably going to leave you for someone else who's got an extra mil in their lips one day, so forget it. <laughs> and in terms of a hierarchy of what a decent guy, <laughs> I like to think that I'm a fairly decent guy, but in terms of what a, a normal, genuine guy that you'd want as a boyfriend puts lips on a hierarchy, for me, it's very, very, very low down. You know, first, I have to have a connection with a girl. That is the most important thing for me. If I, if I meet a girl for the first time and we can't even gel, it's just like, I don't care how big your lips are, this is not going to happen. But for me, I mean, every guy's going to be different. There's going to be different uh, non-negotiables or preferences, let's say. So for me, it's perhaps something like connection. Then it's probably going to be looks. But when I say looks, I mean the whole thing. I'm taking a mental picture of the whole person. Because sometimes people's flaws or people's imperfections can be what makes them perfect. Now, that sounds a bit weird, but I used to have an ex who had a particularly strange shaped nose when I first met her, and by the end of that relationship, I absolutely loved her nose. At first it was like, oh yeah, that's a little, I didn't think it was like ugly, I just thought, yeah, it's different, basically. But by the end of the relationship, oh my god, I was absolutely in love. I didn't, in fact, when we split up, I began to look for girls with that type of nose. <laughs> that's how much I loved it in the end. So, and it, that's because we really connected and I loved her as a person. And that's why I was, I was so fascinated with trying to find somebody else similar, which is a bit weird, but that's the kind of thing that you do. You know, obviously when you're in love with someone, you're in love with everything about them. I don't particularly have a type, so I do find it hard to pick these hierarchy preferences. One thing I will say is that I tend to fall in love with a person's attributes. So for instance, my ex-girlfriend, she had really big boobs, and I was never really a boob man before I met her, but when we were together, I became a boob man and I really appreciated them. Sorry, I've just realised that my hierarchy is a terrible example. The, the only preference I would have is feet. And I know you're all going to say, Oh my god, he's got a foot fetish, that's disgusting. But it's very normal and there's perfectly normal genetic reasons for it to happen. And I've actually dated girls who didn't particularly have the type of uh, foot that I liked, but it's fine. It's just a preference. So if we go connection, looks, and feet would be my hierarchy. Now I know that's a crap hierarchy, so I rang a friend from the gym and I asked him, what's your hierarchy? And he said that his hierarchy is connection, similar to myself, and then face, and then it's body, so he likes quite a toned body, so it doesn't really matter on like, let's say height for example, but just a toned body. And then ass, and then boobs, and then lips, so lips were very far down. And I asked another friend, who also goes to gym, where lips would be on his hierarchy of preferences and it wasn't even on his list <laughs> so you don't even need to worry you might not you might be worrying about something that's not even a preference or not even on somebody's hierarchy list so my general consensus is that 
we all have something about ourselves that we don't like and I just think with all the social media and probably ever since the Kardashians have been quite famous, a lot of young girls have become very insecure about the lips where they don't need to be and it's just going to be like the boob epidemic of the 80s where every other girl or celebrity was getting a boob job and then actually I think it kind of calmed down a bit I think some girls still get this done but it seems like the whole lip surgery lip filler thing has kind of taken over a little bit and well the amounts of surgeries are just limitless but in the medias I, I would say that lips and boobs are probably the most popular at the moment. But we are all insecure about something and that's perfectly normal. So in summary, do you guys find big lips attractive? Yes and no. Yes if it's on the right person, no if it doesn't suit the person. Two, do you guys think that big lips are an important preference? From what I can gather, no. But I do feel that girls seem to do it to compete against each other and there's almost this air of, oh, my lips are better or bigger and done by so-and-so than yours. And number three, if you do get your lips done, make sure you do it for the right reasons. Do it for you, do it for your confidence, do it for your self-esteem. Don't do it for a cheeky DM from a fuckboy at the gym. I had a look this morning on OK Magazine's website and they've actually got some before and after pictures of celebrities who have had lip fillers. So here we are on the ok.co.uk website. I haven't actually looked at any of these celebrities so my reaction is my actual reaction. <laughs> right, the only one that I have seen already is this guy, uh, I don't actually know who this guy is, but Jerry McConnell, um, he's a good looking guy, he's a good looking guy, and he, he just, to be honest, I've got a funny feeling what they're going to do is they're going to make people kind of look okay, and uh, no, look really good, and then also look bad, I think it depends on who's wrote the article, but we'll be able to tell. I think they've caught him at a bad angle there, but I think it looks like it's on his on his Instagram. But yeah, when the, when the lip from the side look, goes like that, it's, it's not a good look. So, Jerry McConnell, I'm sorry to say, but I don't really like that. That's another thing as well, a lot of guys are getting this done now. It's not just exclusive to girls. So who's next? Um, oh, we could have gone one too far ahead then. Kylie Jenner, you see, oh wait, it's on, it's on play, isn't it? Um, Kylie, that's a really bad picture over there. I, I think Kylie Jenner is, is one of the people that it actually does suit. So even though, like, she's, she's obviously like a pretty girl before, in my opinion, but being in, you know, the Kardashians, the expectations are going to be you know, so I understand why she's got it done and it does suit her, so she's one of the few people I would say, yeah, I think it's it's made an improvement And but you got to think as well, she's probably got the best surgeons out there doing this for her, so that's another thing as well but yeah um, they definitely got it at a bad angle there though it doesn't look good from that angle, from the side so who's third? Um, Marnie Simpson Oh, is she in Geordie Shaw? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's a good looking girl before. I mean, I do like a girl with a tan. Uh, you know, I do like... That wasn't a preference, but I do like it. I do think a tan... Probably because I myself prefer myself with a tan. I know I'm pale as a ghost in this video today, but I'm learning to accept that actually I don't look too bad just with my normal skin colour. Anyway, but yeah. Um, they've obviously got her at a bad... You know, she's not posy for a shot there, they've got her at another bad angle, but they don't look too bad on Marnie. Yeah, she looks okay, but she also looks okay before, so... Right, next. 
Uh, Gemma Lucy. Don't know. I can tell actually by whoever's wrote this. Looks like a fish. It's someone who's probably anti lips who's 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 put this together. So I'm gonna take the photos with a pinch of salt in the fact that they are kind of probably anti big lips. Whereas I'm kind of like, well, actually it can look good on some people, but then on others it doesn't. So But anyway, this girl, whoever she is, um I mean she looks she's obviously a Completely different in both fit in both pictures. They've taken a really young picture there and obviously an older picture there But yeah, I mean it's they look big uh, Perhaps yeah, maybe a bit too big, but I think because of everything else that's going on. I'm kind of more drawn to the neck tattoos and um, The tan more than the lips the lips are kind of like oh right. Yeah, the lips are there, but yeah, it's all right It's not too bad uh, Who's next? Oh yeah, I remember her off at Loughl Love Island. Oh wait, sorry, it keeps keeps going to play. Oh yeah, so did she get her lips done before Love Island then? I'm guessing. Uh, I don't think she had her lips done in, in Love Island. No, they would have made her do it because I've heard what they make people do to go into Love Island. They, 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 I'm sure there's a story somewhere where they actually paid someone to uh, get a boob job to, to get them on to the show. So maybe, but she looks good in both pictures, as I'm sure you'll agree. So she's definitely one of the girls where either or, me as a person, she looks good with both. So no lip fillers and with lip fillers, that's totally fine. And Chantel, ooh, yeah, she... <laughs> That side angle's not good at all. Oh my god. Yeah. See, she looks fine before, but yeah, that's that's the, that's what I don't like more than anything really is that side profile where they're just kind of like like Donald Duck. I mean, Donald Duck's sexy, but <laughs> but yeah, that's. Um, I mean, it's obviously a morning shot, and they've, they've caught it a bad angle, and the person who's wrote this is biased, so. But I'm sure there are pictures where it actually looks okay, so let's move on anyway. Lauren Goodiger. Uh, not, to be honest, I'm not up with my celebrities, so I don't know who a lot of these are. Yeah, I don't I don't partic I don't think I don't think lips are for her. No, I think she looks better without. She definitely looks better without when comparing these two pictures. Yeah, no, it looks just a bit strange there. Bit kind of, I don't know, kind of expressionless. Whereas you know, a nice little smile, showing some teeth, <laughs> is nice. Who's next? It's Stephanie Davis. Um, not sure who that is, but they're not the best pictures. But yeah, still. No, no, I don't think it looks good in that picture there. It might look good on other pictures, but I think she looked, she looked fine before. Number nine. Charlotte. Yes, I know Charlotte off Geordie Shaw. And actually, I think she looks she looks good in both pictures there. She does look good in both. I do think it's enhanced her there. I do think it's... It's everything there, though. You know, I like how she's got kind of like the dark, dirty blonde, and she's got like a nice tan. It looks alright there, the lips look alright. I have seen pictures of her where her lips don't look as good as they do there. But she looked fine before, so it's one of them. And who's this? Oh, Holly Hagen, yeah. No, look fine before, that looks a bit... You can't even tell it's the same person, to be honest. Is that the same person? Doesn't look like it. She's... That person's got blue eyes, she's got brown eyes. Right, next we've got... Who's this? Towie Star. I don't watch Towie. But that looks like two different, completely different people, in my opinion. Yeah, no, that, those lips, they look a bit kind of, yeah, a bit full on. It's almost like a bit of a black hole, really. <laughs> in fact, it looks like someone's ass. <laughs> it looks a bit like someone's asshole and they put lipstick around it. Sorry uh, if the girl's watching. She probably isn't watching, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like someone's butthole, yeah. Next. 
Do you know what? Actually, it really suits this girl. I've seen her with it before, but she was pretty before. But yeah, she looked. She does look good with it. So, Megan McKenna. Uh, yeah, no, that's a definite. Yeah, looks good on her. Yeah. Yes, Kylie Jenner. Another. Yeah, it definitely suits her. And to be honest, because she got it done so young, we we would never know what she would have looked like without. So. She's actually got freckles there. Um, I like freckles actually, freckles are pretty cute. So, yeah. Um, next, Jodie Marsh. She was good looking before, if I'm honest. I mean, she looks good in both. Obviously she's getting older now, but back in the day when she had the, the two straps and that army outfit with the miniskirt, good times, <laughs> very good times. She was like Jordan's biggest competitor because she was the one with the natural breasts and Jordan was obviously the um, artificial. But yeah, no, I think it suits her on both and uh, I actually really like Jodie Marsh because she's really into her bike so it's one of them where because I kind of know her personality it makes her attractive anyway so a bit of a bias on that one. Don't know Ellie Golding so well so don't know but yeah that's the thing if you here it doesn't look like she's had it done and that's the kind of look you should go for if you are going to get your lips done you want it so people think well did did they get the lips done or not it's it's good to be on that fence you know it's kind of good to um yeah no but it, she looks good with both but yeah definitely you wouldn't know if if they were natural or not who's this zayn malik's ex-girlfriend from One Direction. Um, yeah, she kind of looks like two different people in these two shots, but yeah, actually she, I mean, yeah, she's got very thin lips there. I've got quite thin lips, so, you know, that's probably why I've grown the moustache out. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, but she's a pretty girl. Looks good in both, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. So let's go to the next one. 17. Mark Wright's wife, Michelle Keegan. She looked good before, if I'm honest. Uh, mm, yeah, I can see why she got why It kind of evens it up a little bit. So yeah, I'll give that a thumbs up. Yeah, it's um, not too much. So she's done it right. Next, we have Sarah Harding. Sound of the underground. Yeah, she was really hot back in the day, and um, she didn't. She doesn't need it done at all. She definitely doesn't. She looks. She looks great here on the left, as I remember. I wouldn't recognise her if I saw her out like this. I wouldn't even know it was her, to be honest. I imagine her status is quite high now, so she probably um, doesn't want to get recognised. But that's the Sarah Hardy now. I remember from the original Girls Aloud. Doesn't need it done. Who is this? Goldie Horn. Yeah, can't really tell if I'm honest. No, not really. Doesn't really look like she likes to done. If it makes her feel better, then more power to her. 20. Nicole Kidman. Can't really tell. Can't really tell at all. So, for me, I wouldn't know, but for her, it might have given her a real boost of confidence. So, let's see who's next. Lindsay Lohan. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, she looks different in both. Do you know what? Lind Lindsay Lohan's one of them people where she looks completely different all the time. So, like, to me, they look like two different people. But th there's certain people like that who I can't fully recognise if that makes sense. Like, I'll see a picture of him and it's like, there's a famous singer, oh, what's her name? I can't remember this girl's name, but um, my girlfriend is a fan and I was like, what does she even look like? And she just looks like, I just feel like my facial, my facial recognition doesn't pick up on certain celebs. But yeah, can't tell, really, um, yeah. Uh, Meg Ryan, you can ta kind of tell a little bit, but she could have just been putting on a, on a lipstick. Uh, oh, another, another, th another big thing people are forgetting here, <laughs> I forgot to mention it. You have bigger lips, that means you've got to use more lipstick. 
So, in essence, by not getting your lips done, you're saving money on lipstick and lip balm and Vaseline. <laughs> right, and the last one is, oh my god, <laughs> fashion designer Versace. Whoa. Uh, looks kind of scary on the second one, if I'm honest. Is it a boy or a girl? Don't I tell if it's, it's a girl, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but no, looks um, looks pretty scary. They haven't mentioned the age, but I imagine she's quite old. So, fashion designers, I kind of understand it, you know, but um, for me, she does look a bit scary with it on the right hand side. But actually, if I just put my hand over the lips, the eyes are, the eyes are very dark, very kind of almost demonic, I guess. <laughs> Perhaps could be in something like The Nun or something like that, but no. Um, I just think what it is is just it's an age thing, so yeah, and that's that. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, as it really helps me out as a content creator. If you do want to see any more videos like this, leave me a comment below in the comment section. And that's it for today. Mm-hmm.